All right, guys, welcome back some more Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake here. Uh, we had to kind of look this up here. This is a little bit of a confusing. Um, but. The hell is going on here? Hold on a second. Supposed to be a guy there. I think we are supposed to hold this. A bit of a confusing. There you go, see? There's lots of rats and Jill. They steal all kinds of things and take them to their nest. The grown up put a cellar's acid to try to get them. The one-eyed man is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown-ups. <laughs> I want chocolate, mister. Do you have a B4, B4 ration of chocolates in them? B1. is telling us that this is uh
I don't think we'd make it there on time before he comes back, so I'm not gonna risk it. Okay. Do we go up? Oh, we go down. Game gives us direction self. It's me, your number one fan, Snake. Watch your watch yourself. You've got company, the Night Fright, the last surviving member of the Whisper. You know the legendary gorilla unit? Night Fright. He's wearing a state-of-art camouflage suit that makes him particularly invincible. Not only that, he'll attack you with a gun that's completely silent. Lucky me, I've got a fan club. Use your ear, Snake. Over and out. to like oh this is like okay we racked them anyways so it doesn't really matter something tells me when we can't walk over this we I have to use this, I believe. You should be able to get card 9 from Jungle Evil. We already beat Jungle. No, he was in charge of cards 8 and 9. He must have dropped this somewhere. Check the area he was in. R should be there. Keep a good work. Okay. Jungle boys! Jungle Evil! Oh, there's some items at the end of here. So let's check the edges first. Hmm. 
What did we pick up? Everything's on the edge here. Seems like, right? We killed them over here. Let's see what we picked up. Um, oh! That's nine, yeah, that is. Okay. We got it. I think so. Okay, let's go. Back we go. Let's see what we got waiting for us. Oh, uh, we needed nine. Oh. Ah, Snake, you're too late. He's already passed. His heart couldn't take it anymore. Wait, what's a bruise on his neck? Not to worry, Snake. Marv may be dead, but the plans for Olex are safe. Marv was a very careful man. He left behind a copy of plans in case of emergency. He had a reputation as a video game enthusiast. He even used to have them shipped to him from West every month. A few days ago, he hid some microfilms in a circuit board of one one of his game cart cartridge. It was an MSX cartridge made by the Japanese company called Konai. <laughs> MSX, that's the world's best-selling brand of computer, isn't it? Then he hid the cartridge inside that locker. Where's the key? I don't know. I couldn't get it out of him. I mean, he never told me. Got a call coming in. Snake, you're in danger. Ollie, what's wrong? Snake, it's Madnar. I thought there was something strange about him, so I had the agency check him out. After he was rescued from outer heaven, apparently things didn't go well for him. His radical theories were rejected in the West. He was dismissed as a madman and shut out from the scientific community, and as, as time went on, he was forgotten. Magnar wasn't exactly happy with the scientific community either. He must have been searching for some way to get back at them. That's when Zanzibar Land talked him into becoming a double agent. He'd use his status as scientist to feed technological secrets from the east and west to Zan Zanzibar Land. And Dr. Marv's disappearance? Right. The timing is too perfect. Magnar has been given the every detail of Marv's eternity in the U.S. Magnar was after Olex all along. That's why he wanted to go to America with Marv. Okay. I'm afraid you've got me, Snake. I give up everything to be part of your world, even the country I was born and raised in. But your world had nothing but contempt and abuse for me. I just wanted to finish Metal Gear. It is the culmination of all my life work through in robotology. But your politicians were only interested in nonsense like SDI, New W, and brain bombs. I pass on the scientific secrets of the East and the West to Zanzibar land. In the return, they aided me in my efforts to improve Metal Gear. Madnar, did you kill Dr. Mar? Yes, he would not share the secrets of Olux with me. Oh, this motherfucker, eh? And it was I who caused Gustavo's death on the bridge by contacting Fox from the sewer. The bathroom, right? Like, I know Marv. No, Gustava gave you the key to the locker. Give it to me. I can't breathe. What in the fuck? Bro. Bro, what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> just had bombed them. <laughs> okay, what, what? Is he dead? What the hell do we have here? Cold medicine contains. Okay. 
Oh, we gotta do Gustava's brooch. What do we gotta do for her brooch again? Um, is it this way? was not there the last time. We need to hold this. Yeah, we, we would have never thought about this, but our dear old friend Google helped us out here. Oh, that's it. Now we just make our way back. Um, I, I don't know how we're gonna do that, to be honest. Okay, what does this open? Oh, right here. Let's have a look here. We went down this path. Oh, what is this area? Um, let's see where this box takes us to. Okay, you're set to go. We're here. Oh, okay, we're here. <laughs> That's kind of pointless, to be honest. That was uh, somewhat pointless. I think there's one in here too. I feel this will take us to... I mean, it should be taking us there, right? Okay, we're set to go, my friend. We're here. Oh, it does. Look at that. Okay. Alright, we're good. if they blocked the door on us. Nope, they didn't. Good job, you peasants. Um, I don't know what I feel like. You can definitely use one of these. I think we'll need this. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that risk. I'm too far for a risk right now. We've come too far for a risk right now.
Y'all need to fuck off. Alright, finally, this second game had us like. I don't know who the hell this guy is. So I do just like. He did. we have in there uh... yeah. he said they like chocolate right the boy said it did he say they like chocolate i think he did or they like something else they like something turkey or oh, cheese sense look at that picked up cartridge bro get up bro why is he not oh he can only crawl in there oh makes sense bad dogs a snake snake He'll never let you get away. He'll use it. He'll use Metal Gear. I have one last gift for my daughter, Ellen. I'll tell you how to destroy it. How to destroy the Metal Gear? Prize might, I could not recounsel East and West in my hearts. But Alan is different. Snake, you must do this for Alan, the daughter I left behind. Uh, how do I destroy Metal Gear? The armor is thinnest on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way. Then we last time we attacked the legs too, right? What the fuck? Like, assume the they'd be smart enough to reinforce the legs, but final delusion of a snail old man. There's no way to destroy this Metal Gear Snake. Fox, where are you? Come and find the snake. Go through the front door. <laughs> Okay, we got all the grenades. Ration B2, okay, we're picking up rations here. Yeah, we can't go that way. Um, it's like grenades, right? We got 120 grenades, brother. Snake, I'm not the same as I used to be, and neither is Metal Gear. I'll show you what fear is, really. Prepare to taste the feet. Um, where is it? We need this. Oh! Oh, we died pretty quickly. What the hell happened there?
we destroyed it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> the cartridge is mine, Snake. Burn in hell. Um, Snake, your items are on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment. Quickly press, use the circle button. Use press O to dispatch. Okay, that was a little bit of a pain. Snake, where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. Okay. It's been a while, Snake. Here we are, back in the mine field. What say we go at it hand to hand? Their two greatest rivals, Foxhound. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Oh, what is this? Gray Fox, real name, Frank Jugger, former member of the Foxhound. He was the last man to hold the title Fox in the Big Boss era, decorated five times. Yeah, I know all about how good he is, better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's such a cold-blooded hunter, he never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respects him, looked up to him. That may be Snake, but do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, we and the mercenary traded, trade knew him as a hunter. That's what Jugger means in German. Back then he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. He tried to get her to come over the fence, but it all fell through. Apparently the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's what Frank started to hate the public. Oh, we know who this is. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater named Gustava Heffner. Real fine woman, movie star type. Gustava Heffner. Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that Solid Snake is the greatest mercenary in the world. Over and out. He's almost dead. Fuck off, Snake. Foxhound. Foxhound. Snake. Looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title Fox. Bro is bloodied up. Fox, why? I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss may have been just another CO to you, but he saved my life twice. This was way before I joined the unit. The first time I was half white living in Vietnam. It was after the war and half whites were being sent into forced labor camps. He saved me from that living hell just like he saved all the children here. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a random soldier and he saved me again. They cut off my ears and my nose. And this is your idea of paying him back? No, you've got it wrong. I hate war, just like all the kids here. But I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it in normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. 
Big Boss gave us a place to fight. Conflict is at our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. Making people happy and making a woman happy is something I could never do. You mean... Guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. you won't turn out like me. I'll have the... I have to remember that. Fight hard. Thank you. Don't let your fans down. My fans, it was you, wasn't it? You were the voices on the radio. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. You won't be alone, Frank. Gustava is waiting for you. Gustava? Thank you, Snake. Alright, we got the cartridge. Over here, Snake. Oh, I'll go over here. Over here. Okay, I'm coming, man. Oh, we got like a cartridge. Oh. Snake. Big boss. You're alive? Snake, welcome to Zanzibar land. I knew you'd come back to me. I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. The nightmares, they never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, tasted the inspiration, the tension, it all becomes part of you. Once you've awakened the warrior inside, within, it never sleeps again. You crave ever bigger tension, ever bigger thrills. As a mercenary, I think you would have realized that by now. You care nothing for power or money or even sex. The only thing is that satisfies your craving is war. All I've done is give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, big boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Everyone is a victim of war somewhere of the world, and they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. It's a perfect logical system. In this world of ours, conflict never ends, and neither does our purpose, our racing. Okay, so there's plenty of job opportunities. Is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable comedies, comedatis, but back home, we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tablet. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. It doesn't matter who wins here, our fight will continue. The loser will liberate from the battlefield and the winner will remain. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life. Farewell, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering as your former commander. I'll do you one last favor and put you out of your misery. I don't need any more favors from you. Really? And just how do you expect to beat me in your condition with no weapons? Never give up. Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed. Even then, even when the odds are against you, there are two. those are the words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. Snake, this will be our final battle. Let's end this once and for all. Open up card six. Nope. Nope. Okay, um, I think we need I think we need the chocolate ration. Oh 
repair your car. Lighter. I think we can have one of these. At least now we know what we gotta do. Okay. We got card number five. So I reckon. Spray. Uh, spray that meant to the Do not use near. better die. I can't believe this is the big boss with the end of paint. Fucking crazy, man. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Bro, you're burning. Unless somehow you survive that burn, it is over. Oh shit. It's okay, it's me, Snake. Ollie! Did I scare you? Well, that was a close one, so what's going on? What are you doing here? You said to yourself, stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So, I did. Oh, so that uniform was too tight in the chest. I feel much better now. Here, I stole this gun from the enemy, you can have it. I can see how it'd be hard for a woman to use, thanks. <laughs> it's all over now, right, Snake? No, I still have one more job to do. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no you can't. Uh, you want me to call you a cab? Oh my god, that wasn't funny, Snake. There's a snake, come in, Charlie. Pilot, this is Charlie, go ahead, Snake. I've got the cartridge. I'm ready to return to the base, making my way to rendezvous point. Roger that. I'll meet you there. Any passengers? Just one. Blonde. With a cute face. <laughs> Sounds like a dream. Over and out. <laughs> uh, Holly, we've got to run as fast as we can to the rendezvous point. Think you can keep up? Is that a proposition, Snake? I'll take it that as a yes.
Ooh. Usually you'd assume by the time we took down Foxhound and Big Boss, these enemies would leave us too, but... What the hell is taking you so long? We're going to be here till Christmas? This is Charlie. I'm 10 kilometers from the rendezvous point. Hold tight a little longer. Over and out. Hurry! Alright, oh, hurts. Thank you. Tell him. We're supposed to be waiting here, but... Damn it, I'm out of ammo. Oh. Snake! Oh. The chopper has arrived. It's the chopper, we're saved. Charlie, you're late. Sorry man, I didn't want to disturb you two lovebirds. <laughs> uh, they're singing a different phrase if we died, oh man. Think we'll be home in time for Christmas? We'll be home in time for dinner, Snake. <laughs> Let's go then, I'm looking forward to Christmas dinner. I'm sick of these rations. That's true too, you know. Oh, the chopper's lifting off. Imagine like a rocket or something just comes flying in. Boom! Big boss is just sitting on the side like laughing. Fly off in the sunset. Reminds me of like Resident Evil, you know? Like, <laughs> okay, it looks like, uh, unless something pops up, it looks like we're done. Oh man, it's kind of confusing to uh, put the story together. Um, I mean, someone did, you guys did tell me that uh, basically this is after Phantom Pain, so uh, that's uh. A little messed up with the whole storyline, right? These were the two first two games that came out. Phantom Pain was the last one, and uh, these were after that. Um, but yeah, um, I can't wait to jump in a little bit more. These are a bit more old school, so I don't feel like there was too much that I could put together. Um, other than, as far as we know, Big Boss is down, Foxhound is down, unless they're gonna populate. But I feel like uh, Foxhound's character would pop up a bit more. I think this timeline of this game is like all over the place, right? Uh, from what I've heard, so we have to remember Foxhound. Um, Big Boss is Big Boss, he'll be around as well. But yeah, um, not bad for the intro into the Metal Gear Solid series. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll end it off here. Not much else to say. Um, if I'm missing anything, you guys can all add something at the bottom to like let me know. But uh, after this one, I think we're gonna start uh, Metal Gear Solid next. I'll see you guys in the next one.